Tired of the Metro Manila traffic? Wanted to visit your north side friends and relatives? Let's talk about Metro Manila Subway for today's video. But before that, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you can see and hear about our upcoming videos. Hello everyone, I am Zara, your host, and welcome to another episode of the Real Estate News here in Global Strategy Real Estate. So the Department of Transportation or DOTR announced that the huge Metro Manila subway project will be completely operational by the third quarter of 2027. The Metro Manila subway project entails the building of a 36-kilometer subway in the Philippines Metro Manila. It will be the Philippines' first mass underground transportation system. Through the National Capital Region, the subway will connect North Caloocan in Bulacan and Desmarinas in Cavite. The DOTR said that the Metro Manila subway project has an overall completion rate of 26.32% as of August 31, including the acquisition of right-of-way, procurement, and other construction activities. It is expected to serve 370,000 passengers per day during the first year of operation, with a design capacity of 1.5 million passengers per day. The 357 billion Metro Manila subway is one of the Duterte administration's main projects under its Build 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 infrastructure initiative, including loans from Japan International Cooperation Agency. So this 36-kilometer railway will connect critical districts beginning in Valenzuela and ending in Asia World Paranaque. The project will feature 15 stations and will be implemented in two parts. The first phase will cover the middle zone between Valenzuela and Paranaque, and the second phase will cover the north and south zones. The subway system, which runs through Valenzuela, Quezon, Pasig, Makati, Taguig, and a tiny piece of Paranaque City, has a maximum operational speed of 80 kilometers per hour and will only take you for 30 minutes. Yes, guys, you heard it right. 30 minutes to travel through seven local governments and three business areas. DOTR previously said that the Metro Manila subway project will physically connect to its north-south commuter railway. So this is a 148-kilometer line project connecting Clark Pampanga and Columba Laguna. We are quite enthusiastic about completing the future Metro Manila subway by 2027, and we continue to hope that this project will reduce Manila's gridlock and will allow us to travel from north to south and vice versa in a short period of time. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed and gained something from this quick video. Again, don't forget to like, Share, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell for more real estate updates. This is Zara, your host, and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!